Right then. So I got these on Amazon. This is the box. Wait a second. Nice quality box. Let's open that out. And then you've got the uh, winter cycling gloves. User manual. In case you don't know how to use gloves, it actually tells you all what's in them here. Silicon print, padding, waterproof membrane, inner line to keep your hands warm, velcro cuffs, nose wipe, touch screen sensitivity, and another waterproof membrane. Or is that the same one? I think I read across, didn't I? Right, so your size guide, medium, large, XL, XXL. I've got the XL, and the, a good fit, decent fit. So they come in a little sealed bag, XL, nice bag, and in the pocket you get, you get the gloves, oh, there's the gloves there, apparently these are luminous, that'll be the luminous bit, glow in the dark. Feel nice, feel good quality. Mm. So, let's say XL. They're a good fit when they're on, actually, they're really perfect fit. I haven't got huge hands, but you know. This is the touch screen bit. It does work. I've tried it already on the phone. It does work. This is your nose wipe for when you've got the <laughs> sniffs. They feel good quality these, the stitching's alright. Got a logo on. There's the stitching. There's no loose threads. That palm grip feels grippy. You've got the, the tag to keep them together so you don't lose them in your bag. Yeah. They feel alright. So what I'm gonna do is take them out tomorrow and do a field test. And then we'll come back and see because it's due to be cold tomorrow and wet. So we'll see how they perform. First impression though, quite good. I'm impressed, feel lovely and warm inside. Look at the inner the inner lining, it's lovely. It's like a velvet, I feel like velvet. A few instructions there. Polyester, polyester fibre, polyurethane fibre. Interior 100% polyester, internal waterproof membrane. And yeah, we'll see about that. I've never had a pair of gloves yet that are waterproof, fully waterproof. They might repel the water, but they don't. It does get in eventually, and I think that's on all gloves. Seal skins a lot, but we'll see. We'll try them out. First impression straight out of the box. Rather nice. Sightman gloves, right? But I'm going to go hiking in them. Mm. So we'll see. So we've got is uh, the Rahint. I don't know if I would say a Rahint. But inside is really warm. I like the warmth inside, and they've got a good grip area, the um, touch screen, the touch screen bit is, it's good, that's worked with the phone, so that's alright. Not 100% sure about the waterproofness, I ran them over the, under the tap, and they, uh, they kept the water out, so that's okay. Good quality gloves. That's it. Now they keep my hands warm. It's not ice cold, it's not freezing. But it was pretty chilly. And they've done the trick. They've kept my hands nice and warm. And this bit. The no oh the nose wipe. Or the brow wipe. That's alright. Actually good. Good quality. Good materials, good stitching. 
Uh, we're quite impressed. I'm pretty impressed with these. We'll see what they're like in the morning when we um, we'll go down in the rain. But for now, that's supposed to be luminous, but it's not really luminous, is it? Not much. It's a bit. So I'm out on the bike, and I've got the gloves on and we're gonna see it's a little bit chilly I've put them on my hands were a bit chilly I drove here it's a little bit cold I'll come out a bit so go along here see how they block the wind let's go I instantly feel hot in my hands which is good oh this is a big lump Expert level. Right, so coming along here, I came along the first bit of this track, no gloves, my hands started getting a bit chilly, and I think now's the time that you need some gloves on. But I want to try these, so I'll quickly have a look. My hands are red hot already. This phone, swipe up, the view ranger, yeah. Type of where we are. And we move around, so touch screen works. Don't want to give too much away. Yeah, that's it, that's good. Touch screen sensitive works. Zero it again. Strava six kilometers I've done. That's the track, It'll be a long straight track through them trees. It's good, yeah. So that's uh, the touch screen function works fine. i just set that off, close it all good. Might mention about the this bit of fabric here for wiping your brow or your nose, whatever. And the grippy palms as well, the grippy palms are good on these handlebars. Nice and grippy. Yep, so it's just, I'll take them back and we'll have the waterproof test when we get home. Let's see what the, uh, how they're performing that. Here we are. We're back off the bike. I've been back a while. Um, so this is it, this is nice and dry. I'm going to, like, not representative of rain, was it? I mean, it's proper concentrated water. It just runs off there. Runs off. Hand, feeling dry. It's not coming through. Imagine that much rain. 
You don't get that off like light drizzle, do you? That is a lot of rain. That would get it wet like that. Still not coming through. That's not bad, you know. That's not bad. That probably will come through eventually. If I keep doing that, that'll get through. But I mean, that's a real, real soak in there. That you're getting. But your hand's still dry inside. I'll show you. Oh, that's dry as a bone. So, not bad. Not bad for waterproof. I think if you got caught in a light shower, <coughs> excuse me, you'd be all right. I think prolonged rain, heavy prolonged rain, probably would let them in. But saying that, I had a pair of seal skins. I think I said this, and they they were the same. They let the water in. That seal skins there, like sixty odd, seventy quid. Budget glove. I put my hand in when it's wet. I'm just been brushing the wet. Feel. It's still not wet inside. Still dry inside. Mm, pretty good for the price you pay for them. I think they make a good waterproof, nice and warm autumn glove. Good for cycling, good for hiking. So, not bad. Would I recommend them? I think I would. If you don't want to fork out 60 70 quid for gloves to do the same thing, these are a good bet. Hmm, nice one.